Hi, hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new tutorial. So, as you probably know, precision face tracking is all hype now in the VTubing community. So, today I'm gonna be telling you guys how you can use a program called iFacial Mocap to get your data to VC Face. So, at the time of posting this video, VC Face did not yet support native iFacial Mocap protocol. So, if it does by now, then I recommend you skip this video because this will be outdated in that case. Anyway, if you do not yet have any tracker to use on your iPhone, I recommend you try Vidao first before you buy iFacial Mocap because iFacial Mocap, while it may eat less iPhone battery, it definitely still does cost some money while Vidao is free. Anyway, today we kind of target the thing where you have already bought that application and you want to use it with VC Face. So, how to do all this? First of all, you're gonna need 52 ARKit blend shapes on your model. I will not go into how to create those today, but if your model has been made in Vroid, then I recommend you check out HANA tool, it's down in the description. They advertise that the tool can add those blend shapes on your model. I don't know about the quality, Maybe someone else does. Uh, if your model has been made in Blender or is otherwise uh, not compatible or you simply want more precision, then I recommend you check out Fofamit's tutorial. She has covered how to create those shape keys in Blender really well. So that's also in the description. Do check it out. Anyway, today we will get into a program called iFacial Mocap to VMC protocol converter, which I did the other day. It is what you see here behind me on the screen with the 3D face. Basically, what it does is it takes the iFacial Mocap protocol from your iPhone and transforms it to VMC protocol that you can then feed to VC face or any other program that can accept VMC protocol. So, shall we get started with it then? First, let's go and download the iFacial Mocap to VMC. Now the address to download this is in the description below. When you arrive to the site, just scroll down and you will find the download link here. Just click that one and download it somewhere on your hard drive. Okay, so the first step is to start the iFacial mockup application on your phone. And uh, you should have this kind of like a blue header in the phone application that will tell you your iPhone's IP address. Now, the next step is to start the iFacial Mocap to VMC protocol converter on your computer. And here we have the phone IP address. Now you need to enter the IP here that you see in your phone. And the next point is to enter the computer's IP where you will be running VC Face or any other tracker that is gonna be receiving the VMC protocol. So in our case, we're using the local computer, so we enter this IP. To the port, make sure you enter the same port that you will be entering in VC phase or any other tracker. So here we just enter 3333. Now, the first step you should always do is make sure that the connection between your phone and iFacial mockup to VMC is working. And to easily test this out, you can turn on the 3D face. Now, I do recommend you turn off the 3D face when you're actually streaming, because this does add a little bit more resource requirements. So let's turn it on and click the connect button. And if it works, the header in your iPhone app should have turned green and the 3D face should start to follow your facial expressions. And now what else you can do in this application is you can also mirror the expressions. Now this may come in handy in some specific cases, but we will not use it now. Okay, the next step is to connect this to VC face. So let's start VC face. And uh, now once you have VC face open, you need to configure the receiving 
end there. So let's go to settings and then the general settings. And then let's scroll all the way down until we find the OSC slash VMC receiver. Let's click this one on. And now we need to configure the settings. So here we already have the correct port. Make sure you enter the same port as you have in the iFacial mockup to VMC. And the next step is to select what we want to be tracked in VC phase and what we want to receive through the VMC protocol. Now this is completely up to you. If you're using VR tracking, you might want to just track the actual phase from the iPhone app. But if you're using VC phase for tracking, then you might want to also turn on more of these features like so. And as you can see, the face is now tracking. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. But remember to give Vidaio also a try, because that one can already send VMC data straight out of the application. And when you run a program like this iFacial mockup to VMC protocol converter, you will have a little bit of an overhead by having one extra application running on your computer. And as every VTuber probably knows by now, the more stuff you have running, the laggier your avatar tracking will be, and that is never an optimal case. So always compare what you have available. So, if you like the tutorial, consider subscribing down below, as well as smashing that bell button to get the notifications of my new tutorials. I also have a Discord server, it's down there in the description, if you would like to join our comfy little community, maybe stay up to date with my application updates, or just have fun with everyone. I also do stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays on Twitch. If you would like to ask any questions live, that is totally fine as well. Anyway guys, see you next time. Bye bye!